Next thing, real quick, because we're not going to make this long and drawn out. Just in an answer to what we were teaching last week concerning touching on interracial marriages. I want to make this clear. All right. Not once did I give a green light and say it's okay for Israelites to marry anybody they want, no matter who they see. That wasn't the point. That wasn't even the topic of discussion. Why? Because the Most High divided people according to borders and lines. It tells you that in Genesis six of um, Genesis ten. All right. So it was meant for those of one race to marry those within their race because you had to marry within your borders. That's how you keep your nation intact. You understand? And we cannot speak against what the Most High set up. So yes, one is supposed to marry one of their own nation. But I think people are getting confused with what we're teaching and what the Bible is saying. And they're comparing that to the to their disdain against what's going, the disdain they see, what's going on within our societies when basketball players leave their society in which there's a, an influx of their own people and go marry somewhere else and move to the suburbs. Well, that's a personal pet peeve you have against someone that's operating in ignorance. All right? So there's a difference between someone who know they're Israel and a basketball player that have no idea what he's doing because he's just caught up in the system. All right. So I'm not going to teach to try to uh, against this guy in ignorance because he's in ignorance. That ain't that ain't how you teach the Bible. I'm just making that clear. So, yes, according to the Bible, you're supposed to operate within your own race. According to the Bible, there is no gray area on that. That's just the way it is. All right. So this ain't, there's no green light for an Israelite to say, oh, I can go get anybody I want. No, you, you know better because you understand. But you have to understand this, that if someone is already dealing with someone of a, another race and they come into the truth, that's the point I was talking. You, we're not to look down on that or try to separate that or anything. We are to accept them as brothers in Christ, sisters in Christ, regardless of their relationship. Let the Most High work that out because we don't know who they are according to genealogies. Okay, so I wanted to make that clear because I see that people would like to spin what we said and try to make it something else. We cannot undo to the fact that the Most High separated nations according to bounds. But again, Israel is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And a lot of people who you might think is someone else based on outward appearance, could be Israel. All right? I want to make that clear. But that's not giving a green light to say, well, that person might be Israel, so let me go, even though there's a whole society, a whole neighborhood of my people right there. <laughs> well, well, this person here that might be Israel. So no, we're not saying that you, you are to leave your own people and just go someplace else. Everyone should be with their own race. There's nothing wrong with that. But we should love each other regardless of race and operate for preparation for the kingdom, be it Jew or Gentile. All right, so I hope I made that crystal clear. We're only going to be able to take questions for five minutes today because I'm behind the time, and we'll be able to answer questions, uh, more so, more questions next week, okay?